Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabury Church of Christ midweek lesson. I greatly apologize for missing yesterday, but had a very busy day. But would like to talk to you for a few minutes today about a book that is full of treasure. You know what, what you and I really need in our life, including God himself, can be found in the pages of the Bible, God's marvelous word. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 8. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 8, and follow with me. It says there, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. You know, we're living in an era of unlimited information. And it's kind of easy to take the Bible for granted, to really forget how rich it is with spiritual insight and understanding. You know, in scripture, we've been given both the revelation of who God is and a practical guide for how to live today and to prepare for eternity. Hebrews chapter four and verse 12 says, for the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Tells us the word of God is living, brethren, and it's active. We can observe that the Bible is miraculously complex enough to satisfy both the intellectual and simple, to nourish adult and child alike. Scriptures teach, they convict, they encourage us through its varied literary styles and its historical accounts with poems and prayers and laments and prophecies and epistles. The Psalms not only remind us to give thanks and to worship, but also to teach us how to repent of sin and share our pain with God. The epistles, they show us ways to hope in the midst of trials. And the gospels introduce us to Jesus Christ. They also teach us of his love for us, his abounding and great love for you and me. Every book, every single book leaves its unique mark on us. When we take the time, and think about that seriously, when you take the time to engage with scripture, it's not merely our own soul that we encounter but we encounter God himself. Between the lines of chapter and verse, we meet with him. And brethren, we're transformed by the experience of his presence. Please, please take some extra time today, tomorrow, and from now on to connect with him by opening his marvelous word and looking at those treasures that are so great, the promises that he's made to us and life eternal. Listen to what God has to say. What a wonderful, wonderful thing we have in God's word and we need to be a part of it so that we can have a great relationship with him, that we can have peace and contentment. Something just to think about for the rest of the day and the rest of the week. 
and we greatly appreciate your tuning in to our messages. It's wonderful that you do, but please share them with your friends and your loved ones and neighbors and help us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you again for tuning in. And as always, we would love to have you visit the Seabury Church of Christ. If you can come and be with us, you'd be our honored guest. and We would love to have you there. Our Bible study begins at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday morning and our worship service follows at 10.30. Thank you again for tuning in. It means so much to us. And I hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week and may God bless you.